Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do a quick line art tutorial. Um, I've shown how I do line art in other videos, but I guess I'm just not specific enough or focused enough on that area that people keep asking me how I do it. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Um, I have here a drawing that I did specifically for showing how I do line art. This is similar to something I've done before. Um, this is on my Hana Mule Tone Tan Watercolor Paper. Um, I've already got my background painted. I've got the majority of my character painted. And I'm at the point now where I'm starting to lose definition of the character. So I want to start outlining so that I don't lose the shapes completely. So this is just my preferences for the moment. How I do things might change in the future, but at the moment, my favorite tools are the Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen. These come in a wide variety of colors. I have them in a wide variety of colors. I do enjoy the brush tip ones in particular. These ink pens are great because essentially once they've dried, they just kind of blend in with the paint around them. So they lay on kind of dark at first, but once it dries, you kind of don't notice it so much. That makes them perfect for like color correcting if you've made a mistake somewhere. So there's there's occasional times where maybe you forgot to color in an area. You can just go in with one of these and it just kind of blends in. You don't even realize that you forgot to color in an area anymore. Or if say maybe you color outside the lines and you're trying to push pigment back into place. Um, if it's a watercolor medium like watercolor, you can do that. Uh, this is ink, it'll reactivate the watercolor and you can just move pigment around. So that's why I really like these. And then I also use some sort of watercolor pencil, primarily black. I go through a lot of black ones, um, but I have several different types. I've got the Faber-Castell. These are the Albrecht Durer pencils, and then also the Caron Dash Museum Aquarelle colored pencils. Sometimes I'll use traditional colored pencils as well, but for the time being, this is all that I need. It's just an ink pen and maybe a black colored pencil. So when I start my line art, the first thing I do is I just outline with my Pit Artist Pen. I sometimes outline the entire thing. Sometimes I just outline the important bits. But for right now, we're going to outline around the character and we're going to smooth out some of these rough edges. For the inside curls, I'm going to go in with a slightly different colored pink. This one's a little bit lighter. And I'm going to start outlining those. Okay, so step two. So I've got most of everything that I wanted highlighted, highlighted with my ink pen. So now I'm going to go back through with my watercolor pencil and I'm going to start adding in extra highlights to important areas. Um, again, you don't have to outline the entire thing. I usually just kind of highlight in like intersections. So say this area right here, these two lines meet. So I'm going to start filling that in with a colored pencil. These two lines cross. I'm going to start coloring that in round my edges. Okay, so I'm getting pretty far with my lines. Not entirely done with it, but I'm getting to where I'm relatively happy with how much work I've put into it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back over with our Pit Artist Pen again. And we're just going to smooth out the watercolor pencil. You probably can't see that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. here. I'm going to go back over it with the watercolor. 
pencil and the ink. And it's just going to kind of smear the watercolor pencil so that it's a lot smoother. It looks kind of scary at first, but just trust it. Once that dries, everything is going to look super smooth. And if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. I've got a section up here. I got my lines crossed and my lines confused. So what I can do with that is you can go back over it with watercolor again and it'll pretty much just disappear. So these are watercolor pencils. So they're just gonna blend in with your regular watercolor and it'll disappear, not a big deal. So what I usually do is I go back and forth. I do the watercolor pencil and then I go back over it with ink, watercolor pencil, ink until I'm satisfied. Um, and then if I need to, I go back over it again with watercolor just to fix problem areas. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to finish outlining this, adding in decorative lines where I feel like it. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done or near completion. Okay, so that's it pretty much for this one's line art. I consider the line art on this to just about be finished. I've done what I've said that I've done, which is just a combo of the watercolor pencil and then ink and then watercolor pencil and then ink. Uh, the stage that I'm at now is pretty much just adding in the final details. Um, I am using a white colored pencil to do like individual strands of hair. Uh, this is also good for additional line art. You can do white line art, that's fine. And then just highlighting the line art that I've already done. I also have the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in White, and this is good for adding in things like sparkles or covering blemishes that you might have done. But otherwise, I consider the line art part finished. Uh, so I'm just going to continue on doing my final details, making it sparkly, finishing up my stars, and then I'll see you again in a minute with the final product. Okay, so that's my finished product. Now I get to scan that in and um, I'll upload it to Instagram. So hopefully that was somewhat helpful. Uh, otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.